Hello guys, welcome to TMXC Adventures, Lisa here. Hey look, after yesterday, I've had lots of requests to actually just demo how easy this syrup is. So come with me today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this beautiful coffee syrup that you can then use on ice cream to make a simple um, kind of milk-based drink, like a bit like an ice, um, ice breaker kind of thing, um, ice break, or even like yesterday, the frappe. So come with me today, let's do this together. Uh, it's really, really simple. So bring up your scales. And by the way, you can find this recipe over on my website. So scan over there or go to tmxingadventures.com.au. Go to the blog and it's there, the very first thing on the blog. The blog has lots of other downloadables for you. Most months, I put out a downloadable A4 page that you can print and stick on the fridge for inspiration or just download all the lists to your cookie do right there at your fingertips. So every month it comes out of my newsletter and I then try and put it up on the blog. I say try, sometimes time is hard to find. First thing you need is 250 grams of boiling water. The scales are up, so we'll just put that straight in. Okay, now there isn't a few infusion time in this recipe. Okay, so we're gonna to need to let it sit. It's a far nicer flavor if you let it infuse. If you don't have time to let it infuse, you'll find it doesn't taste right. It kind of gets a burnt flavor to it, okay? So well worth doing. 70 grams of this stuff. Okay, mine is just Nescafe. I probably shouldn't be doing it straight over the top because what's gonna happen is the humidity is gonna get in there and wreck the rest of this batch. So just use something else. That was a little, little afterthought. So 70 grams in this goes. So oh, close. And then, that's pretty close. And then we're going to add in some sugar, all right? Now, we're not adding the vanilla in at this stage. The vanilla is important. But if you add it in at this stage, it will cook off and it won't, again, it doesn't taste right, okay? So in with some sugar, and by the way, I'm trying to put it around the blade shaft so that it gets cooked into it. Otherwise, um, it sits there and by the end, it's still sitting up on top and you don't want that. So now we're going to leave it for 10 minutes. Now our TM6 has a timer function at the top here. So I'll just close this down, bring this down, and I can put that timer on now for 10 minutes. So I can just scroll this down. I've somehow put four hours on. That's not the plan. Let's get for 10 minutes. We'll come back to zero hours. It's a bit hard doing this upside down. There we go. I think I'm on nine. And while that's happening, I'm just going to put the lid on because we've got a few bugs floating around at the moment. The flies are out. But today I'm going to just show you how easy it is to make it up once it's done because I've still got leftover batch. Okay. Now this is something I gift away. Neighbors, friends and stuff come Christmas time or even, you know, birthdays and stuff. So I don't mind having excess and it keeps like forevermore. So that's fine. So the easiest thing to actually make this in the equivalent of your breaker, you know, for maybe some teenage kids or something like that, or spouse or friends who are over for maybe morning tea is simply get a glass. You could weigh in your 30 to 50 grams straight into it, but I'm gonna, of course, dress it with my beautiful chocolate sauce. So this is my chocolate sauce from my Easter grazing box. Some of you guys have jumped over and bought that overnight. Check that out. Uh, I know it says Easter, but that grazing box has some phenomenal recipes in there that are budget friendly, um, great to make any time. Fill up a grazing box, take to a friend's house for morning tea. Okay, look at that, chucky, in it goes. I need to now weigh in approximately, let's see if that stays. Anyone else nervous about that? <laughs> Let's bring up the scales and I'm gonna weigh in 30 to 50 grams. Again, it depends on your preference of taste. I will try and hold it a little bit in case it does go to full. So it's about, I don't know, a heaped tablespoon. There we go. So it's about that much in the bottom. But again, it depends on the size of your glass. If you've got like a really big style cafe glass, it's gonna be different. And then your favorite milk. So it might be nut milk, whatever you'd like. Literally in it goes and you're done. Like that's as simple as it is. You can stir it, you can have it on ice. Totally up to you how this next goes, but that's that's it. Like it doesn't get much simpler to eat amazing food that you know what's in it. There's no colors in this, there's no, I mean, the worst case scenario is there's something in this, but it says it's 100% soluble coffee. So it doesn't say there's anything extra in there. So that's pretty cool. You know, you know exactly what is in it. So that's how easy it is. Yesterday was frappe with ice, today is just straight with milk. Okay, so let's see what we're up to here. 
Does anyone with a TM6 forget to use their timer? And then you hear it going off and you're like, what's that sound? Because that's what I do at my house. I'm like, hey kids, what's the alarm going off? Who said it? And I forgot that it was totally me. This is why I need a thermomix in my life anyway. I am the distracted person who forgets what she did five minutes ago or two minutes ago. All right, so it's infusing. It's beautiful in there. We're gonna cook it in a minute and we're going to be cooking it for nine, 10 minutes, sorry, at 90 degrees. We don't wanna to go to 100. You're gonna overcook that, um, that coffee, not chocolate. <laughs> Got the wrong thing on the mind um, and it's just gonna get bitter which isn't pleasant the other thing that's super important is it's gonna be on speed one try not to go faster than speed one don't try and speed this process up it will create a froth on the top um, and then that just doesn't it doesn't sit nice like when you're gifting the jar to somebody it's got this frothy top on it okay so speed one is it and we're putting our simmering basket in place of our measuring cup because of course we're using that warmer temperature at 90 degrees it's not necessary it is once you get to the the hotter stuff i probably should have also i don't know if you guys can see but i didn't get that coffee right on the in the water probably should have done that anyway there we go that's a bit better there we go now it's dissolving in there that's what you want you want it to kind of have dissolved and infused by the time in a moment we go to cook this. Now I'd love to know, has anybody actually made this? Do comment in the in the chat box later if you have. Uh, but and if you want the recipe card, as I said, it's over on my blog. I put it up for you yesterday. And I've also said down the bottom, hey, you can use it for either things. If you like coffee as well, of course, on ice cream, this is beautiful. Uh, absolutely amazing on in, in and on ice cream. So I am going to look at that timer. I'd love to continue on. I may shortcut it just for you guys. So I'm gonna say, <laughs> Don't do as I do, okay? <laughs> Give yourself the time because I've tried it shortcutted before and it doesn't taste as good, okay? In my opinion, having comparisons, okay? So I am gonna shortcut it. I'll feed it to my husband, but don't do it, okay? When you're doing it for your friends and family for Christmas, don't do it. So now, what did I say before? We're gonna do 10 minutes, 90 degrees, and speed one. Okay, so nice and slow. Now after this is up, all you're simply doing is adding one teaspoon of vanilla. So you might have extract, essence, I've got paste that I make myself. Um, and then it's stirring through 30 seconds speed one. Pour it straight into something that's nice and clean, that's gonna last, some jars, whatever you wanna give it away in if you're doing gifting. Uh, just a little FYI, don't put it in a plastic squeezy bottle, it's too hot. It's 90 degrees. This um, chocolate sauce, by the time you go to put it in, is about 70 degrees. So mine went into this old maple bottle syrup, uh, maple syrup bottle. <laughs> uh, so it didn't melt. But I have seen bottles that, you know, people have gone to put veggie stock in them and they've just shriveled up. So make sure it's cooled. I wouldn't suggest putting the syrup into uh, that because it's just going to be too hot, okay? And then, yeah, enjoy. So that's simple. Like, it's literally 10 minutes of your time, 5 minutes to walk away at the beginning, and then 30 seconds to stir through. Like, it's really, really simple to make this uh, in your thermometer. So give it a go. Go over to my website. Check that out. If you do want the chocolate sauce, go uh, buy the Easter gra um, grazing box course from over there as well. But otherwise, have a fantastic day. Please do tag your friends who like their coffee okay make sure everybody who's got a thermomix knows about this recipe okay send them over to my website send them the link copy and paste it put it in messenger send it to them and say hey i know you like your coffee your ice breaks or um those sorts of things here try this because they will save so much money not to mention the health benefits of knowing what's in your food and once this is in the fridge you've got it right like and this is by the way if you didn't watch yesterday this is the small leftover part actually have a larger jar as well of, of it. So this is the leftovers, uh, not this one. Sorry, I'm holding the wrong one, that's vanilla. The pink lidded one, this is the leftovers, uh, which I've already made now to uh, three, three out of this one. And so there's another bottle that's larger than this as well. So it makes heaps. But otherwise guys, if I can support you with anything with your Thermomix, please don't ever hesitate to reach out. I do love to hear from you. Go hang over at my website, check it out over there. Few things other than the Learn More tab. I've got courses for you over there as well. Um, if you need personalized support, reach out. I've got a few different options for you, but otherwise, take care. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more video inspiration, helping you get more out of your Thermomix. So take care, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.